Hi, my name is Meng Minda, and this is a presentation for CIA1 Principle of Data Science. So I am going to present my CIA on Netflix shows and movies. I got the data set from Kegel. It's an explanatory analysis. I will be attaching a PDF with this link for detailed analysis. Introduction. The data set consists of meta details about the movies and TV shows such as the title, director, and cast of the shows and movies. Details such as the release year, the rating, duration, etc. are also present. Literature review. Netflix has been on the rise since its beginning in 1997, when one sees it from a distance perspective. However, a close analysis of its unique strategy shows that the company faced several small and big challenges in its growth journey, some of which had the potential to throw the company away permanently from the market itself. Nevertheless, it responded tactically to all such issues, many of them being dealt in a preventive and proactive manner, while other cases being dealt with quicker reaction, essentially faster than any other competitor. This report is a study of many such issues that the company faced since its beginning till recently, when it almost conquered the whole world after establishing its feet in China as well, in collaboration with the service provider Baidu. The report also entails some unique strategies that the company followed while continuously and marginally changing its business model, which would seldom be possible in a brick and mortar economy. As such, the company made use of its deeper understanding of how market reacts in an internet economy. Efforts has been made to throw some light on the way the company has dealt with issues of digital discrimination allegations against it and also its stance on net neutrality. Finally, some of the challenges and opportunities that the company has encountered recently, including the lawsuits, has been touched upon, presenting the company's as well as outsider media's view on those and has been concluded with potential problems and future aspects. So, what is the objective for this research? Some of the interesting questions which can be performed on this, on this data set are, first, understanding what content is available in different countries. Second, identifying similar content by matching text-based features. Third, network analysis of the actors, directors, and interesting insights. Fourth, how Netflix has increasingly focusing on TV rather than movies in recent years. Here are the references. A special thanks to Kegel and the research gate. These are the data set preparation using Kegel. The problem statement for this explanatory analysis are as follows. First, to analyze the growth of Netflix movies and TV shows over conventional TV over a period of time. Second, to segregate the type of content available on Netflix. Third, to study the growth of Netflix content over the years. Fourth, to analyze the contribution of different countries in the content available on Netflix. And lastly, to find out the average ratings of movies and TV, sh TV shows available on Netflix. So, what are the results of the test? Over two-thirds of the content on Netflix is movies and remaining 33% of them are shows. You can easily see this in the pie chart given here. Here you can see the growth in content over the years. It's huge. Have a look at the graph of movies. It's unbelievable. So the growth in number of movies on Netflix is much higher than that of old TV shows. About 1,300 new movies were added in both 2018 and 2019. The growth in content started from 2013. Netflix kept on adding different movies and TV shows on its platform over the years. This content was of different variety, content from different countries, content which was released over the years. Netflix added most of its content in quarter four and in October. We can see the peak over here. Here are the oldest movies which are available on Netflix. Here are the oldest TV shows which are available on Netflix. As you can see here, the United States is leading in terms of content generation. Asia is on the second rank when it comes to content generation. And if you look closely, you can see India is just behind the US. It's in this amazing, let's know more about Netflix. You can see here, the US is on the top and India is on the second rank. It's a huge gap, but India is doing great as of now. With this graph, we can easily see that movies are more preferred on Netflix. So let's have a look on top categories. International movies and dramas are leading the charts with comedies coming in third and anime features are at the lowest preference as of now. So 
एस एल राज मोली क्रिएटेड दी मोस्ट ऑफ द कंटेंट इन इंडिया फॉर नेटफ्लिक्स हाथ सो फॉर द स्काई कंपटीशन वॉज रियली क्लोज फॉर दिस कैटेगरी विद द बाक बैनर्जी काम एंड एंड सेकेंड बाई लिटल मार्जिन सो वॉट्स द कंक्लूजन ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द कंटेंट ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स इज मूवीज द ग्रोथ इन नंबर ऑफ मूवीज ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स इज मच हायर दैन टी वी शोज द मंथ ऑफ ऑक्टोबर फिटनेस इज द हाइएस्ट एडिशन इन कॉन्टेंट फोर्थ यू एस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट लार्जेस्ट टू द कॉन्टेंट ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स फॉलोड बाय इंडिया एंड यू के सिर्फ द टॉप थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स आर इंटरनेशनल मूवीज ड्रामाज एंड कॉमेडीज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस मिनी डॉक्यूमेंट्री I will be adding the detailed explanatory analysis on Netflix movies, and I also I will be attaching the PDF for explanatory analysis.